Picto Drive is a Sega emulator for your 3DS which will allow you to play Master System, Mega Drive, Sega CD and 32X games. And in this video I'm going to show you how to set it up and play those games on your 3DS. So let's get started. So first off, there will be two links down below and the first one will take you to this GBA temp page. This is where you can find the download and you can find different information on the emulator. But we are just gonna grab this download here. You can use the QR code and download it directly from your 3DS, but you need to put the games on. So my SD card is already out anyway. So I'm just gonna download this one. So click on it. It'll download a zip file in the bottom left and then you can open it up and now we can pull out the SD card that we use to mod our 3DS and open it up on the PC as well. As you can see, this is what my SD card looks like. Yours may look different, but essentially we are going to grab this CIA file and we're going to drag it into our CIAS folder. Now you do need FBI software for this to work. We're going to install the CIA file using that. But if you followed my guide on how to homebrew your 3DS, you should already have it. In your CIA folder, you should have pictodrive underscore 3ds.cia. Back on the root of your SD card, we're just gonna grab this pictodrive 3ds top PNG and drag it onto the root of your SD card. But once you have those on your SD card, we are ready to set up the game. So you can close that zip file. And before we get the games on there, the second link down below will take you to this compatibility list. So not every game works, but I believe there is a lot that do. As you can see, there's a lot of green here. So before trying out games, make sure to just check if they work first, because it, will, it, it always sucks to set up something and find out it doesn't work where it's just a compatibility issue. Now, if you want to search for a game, just click Control F and you can type the game in here. So let's do Sonic and we got 30 through 33 different games that have Sonic in it so you can use these arrows and go through them all and find the games you want without further delay let's set up the games so we can close that and as you can see here on my desktop I got three different games here I got a Mega Drive and two Master System games now if you followed my Twilight menu installation video, you should already have this ROMs folder here on your SD card on the root, but if not, just create one. It's not a big deal what you name it because we're going to be able to select which folder we put the games in anyway, you'll see later on. But just create a ROMs folder and go inside and then here I have a list of all different ROMs. So again, if you don't have any of these folders, that is totally okay. Just go ahead and create one. I would suggest creating a new folder and call it picto drive and that way you can put all of your you don't have to separate them all you can put the mega drive the sega cd and the master system all into one folder but once you have that folder you want just highlight all your games and drag them inside once they're inside you should see they look like this as you can see these are sms files and this one is a markdown source file so both of those work but once you have those games in the folder, we can eject our SD card and head over onto our 3DS. I'll meet you over there. All right, and now we're on our 3DS. I'm just gonna make some room for our Picto Drive emulator. I'm just gonna move our Game Boy, whoops. I'm gonna move our Game Boy emulator over. Now we have a spot open. But now what we need to do is go into our FBI software and we're gonna install it to our home menu. So click A on SD, go all the way down to CIAS, and you should see pictodrive underscore 3ds.cia. Click A on it, and we're gonna install and delete it. That'll install it onto your 3ds and then delete it off of your SD card because we don't want it to take too much space. So click A and then click A again, and it'll install the CIA and it'll add our emulator to our home menu. Press A when it's done, press the home button, and we're gonna try to close the software before, <laughs> I love doing that, it's a race, before our software has been added to the home menu. Press okay, you should see a gift box for us that says Picto Drive. Let's unwrap it, see how it looks, just like that. That's pretty nice, and it looks very similar to our Virtua NES and our SNES ROMs. They actually use the same interface. Let's open it up and test out our games. Now, the first time you open this, you will see all of your SD card folders. So all you have to do 
is go find wherever you put your ROMs. So if you remember, we put them into our ROMs folder, which is right there. So click A and into our Picto Drive folder. So if we click A, there's our ROMs. If you put it into a different one, you can always go back and uh, you can find whatever folder you put it in. So it's not a big deal what you name it. But in our Picto Drive folder, we got Alex Kid and Shinobi World. Let's try that one out. So just click A to load it up. And it's on the top screen, but if you want to hit the menu, just touch the bottom and you have all of these different options. You can use the right trigger and left trigger to go through these. Um, if you are on the old 3DS and you're playing Sega CD games, you can go to frame skip, click A, and then change it to max two frames and that should help your video look a lot smoother. But if you're on the new 2DS or 3DS like I am, the emulator runs really well, so we don't have to change anything. If you want to change the screen layout, just hit the menu and go over to options. Screen stretch, you can add um, different aspect ratios. So if you go full screen, we can press B and it'll look like that. So you can go through all of the settings and kind of customize the emulator to how you prefer. And if you want to select a new ROM and without leaving, you can just go over to select ROM here and switch over. Let's switch over to Sonic. Just like that. It's very quick as well. But essentially, that is how you install and set up the PictoDrive emulator for your 3DS. And if you would prefer to have your Sega games directly on your menu, I will have a video linked below where you can create a CIA file just for that. As you can see, I got Sonic and Earthworm Jim on my home menu as well. But those CIA files, you're limited to about 40 games, I believe. Whereas the emulator, you can have an entire library full of it. But anyways, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please leave a like down below. It really helps the channel out. If you run into any issues, comment below and I'll try to get back to you when I can. And you can also join the Discord linked in the description as well. But anyways, thank you for watching and have fun playing your Sega games on 3DS. Take care.